What's up you guys, it's Vinsanity, and today I have a very important video for all you guys who just got into breaking. Maybe you went to an event, maybe you saw a video online, maybe your friend showed you a cool move, and now you wanna learn how to break. But, you don't know where to start. Today, I have a couple ideas to help you guys get started. Now, the first thing I would say is find a place to practice. This could be anywhere. It could be in your garage, it could be at a local community center, it could be at a dance studio, it could be anywhere. But make sure you find a place that you feel comfortable in, right? Sometimes when you're in a public place, it might not be the most comfortable, right? So sometimes in a private place like your own garage, it might be a good place to start. If you guys are anything like me, it took me a very long time to get comfortable dancing in front of other people. So um, going in public places was a little bit iffy for me. But once I did, it also is a very good learning environment because when you practice with other people, they are able to share some knowledge with you. And when I was younger, this was how me and my friends learned. We learned from each other. We didn't have a teacher. We didn't have uh, someone that could mentor us. We didn't have you know, YouTube to look up videos, how to do stuff. We just had each other. So we learned from each other and we grew together. Now the second thing you guys need to do is put on some music and just try it out. You might feel silly, you might feel like you're just rolling around on the floor, but hey, that's what we're doing. We're breaking, we roll on the floor. So put on some music and just move around. Put your hand on the ground, feel the floor, and just move around. Kick your legs out, spin in circles, you know, fall a couple times, right? This is how you learn, this is how you grow. Sometimes you don't need a specific move to try out. Sometimes you just need to move around and, you know, be a kid again. Something I tell all of my students is, you know, when you put on music for like a little kid and they start going crazy and start kicking the legs around, rolling around, you know, even though they might not know what they're doing, that's essentially breaking. That's how breaking starts and that's how you guys can start too. Just put your hand on the floor, move around and have fun with it. Now the third thing, is you can find a mentor and this might be easier for some people and harder for others depending on where you live. You could be mentored by someone that maybe has more experience with you, someone that you practice with, maybe one of your friends, um, or you could actually go out and take a dance class or get private lessons from somebody. Um, mentors are really, really great because they kind of have insight that you don't. They could show you guys, you know, things that you could do to make progress and uh, for example, I've taught kids for one day, literally like one hour, and in one hour they've gotten better than kids that have been dancing for months. And it's just because I'm able to give them an experience with breaking that kind of like hits, you know, different corners of the mind and different corners of the body and allows them to just, you know, break free and dance, right? So find a mentor, even if it's someone that's not really around, someone that can at least guide you in the right direction. Now lastly, if you guys have limited access to dance, maybe there's nobody around you that dances, maybe there's no uh, dance facilities or anything like that, you guys can start off with watching tutorials. And that's the great thing about 2018 is you could actually go on YouTube, type in you know what you want to learn, and you can learn literally anything. When I was younger, this was not the case. We just rolled around until we figured something out, right? But in the present day, we can now do a little research online and figure out how to do things, right? So. Um, as far as tutorials, a lot of people wonder what tutorials should I start with? I get this question like almost every single video I post. What tutorials should I start with? And for those of you who have never danced before, I'm going to give you guys a list of videos I want you guys to check out. The first one is my video on how to freestyle. Again, very simple video just teaching you guys how to get comfortable, move around, and dancing. Secondly, I want you guys to watch my video on how to do a two-step. You guys can check out the link here and also how to do salsa steps, right? Moving around, getting comfortable, doing different steps. And these three videos are really just gonna give you a little bit of insight and help on how to move around, standing, getting comfortable with your dance. Next, you guys need to learn how to go to the floor. Again, there's a lot of ways to go to the floor. I would suggest doing something simple like the spin down, right? Spinning down to the floor. Again, to learn that, make sure you guys click here. Next, we need to learn how to do something on the floor. And again, I would start off with just putting a hand down and moving around, spinning in circles, rolling around, whatever you wanna do. But for your first somewhat technical move, I want you guys to try out shuffles, just shuffling your legs back and forth, moving around, going fast, going slow, maybe exploring different levels, going up, low. Try to experiment with this and get comfortable with shuffles. You know, shuffles are very simple, but they are a very, very cool move and very useful move. So check it out, get comfortable with those, and again, work your way up from top rocks down to the floor into your shuffles. 
all right? Lastly is your freeze. And there's so many different freezes, so many difficult freezes you guys can learn. I just want you guys to practice standing up and doing some type of confident freeze, right? It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just stand up with confidence, right? This is gonna give you guys a basic layout, going from walking in a circle, doing your top rocks, going to the floor, going into footwork, standing up, and doing a nice, confident freeze, right? If you guys could do all of this, your breaking is gonna be off to a really, really great start. Last but not least, always, always, always keep in mind, why are we dancing, right? For some people, it's one reason, for some, it's another, but always just, have fun. We're dancing because it's fun. It's a way for us to release energy, express ourselves, all these things. So when you guys are dancing, don't forget to have fun. All right? For more tutorials about breaking, make sure you guys click subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.